the first block of concrete, the first pour of concrete sample is part of the first pour, okay? Look at the bottom. Do you see the name? Yeah. Thomas Stewart, right there at the bottom, Thomas Stewart. Yeah. Don't know if it was a relative or not. <laughs> <laughs> One day I found it down there and I was like, holy hell, my name's on the first block of concrete. <laughs> Basically, oh, cool model. Yeah, that's during the time lapse. The time lapse of the dam being built. Wow. You being a model builder, I knew you'd appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. You want to make your own electricity? Well, guess what? There's electricity. You guys can take all the pictures you want. That's what we're doing. Oh. Oh. The invasion of this 20 foot diameter, 520 foot deep performed using a vertical shaft boring machine and that's what it sort of looked like. Sorry. Oh well, you're not in the way. What? No, no. Yeah. No. I never remember what the pin number is. I know it's one of the Okay, so we're gonna get down to the end of the picture. Yeah. 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 Rock around what we call andesite. Andesite brush is so strong and stable as you notice. We 
we have instructional supports? No, it is freestanding. We have seven miles of tunnels in the mountainside that are this way. We have two miles of tunnels in the dam. Wow. And no cave-ins ever except for that one spot. Not one cave-in in 70 years. Yep. Wow. If you look right here, you'll see a couple of... Water. No. Pipes. No, that's a drill. That's a bit to a jackhammer. Oh. One got stuck. They tried to get the other one out and couldn't. They just cut them off and left. It was too much. <laughs> Rock is too hard. Wow. And it doesn't leak. It's got a counterweight and a hydraulic ram on a bolt. Give you an idea how heavy that door is. Oh my god. One day we had the power go out down here. It took five guys to open this door to get the people out. Oh, holy smokes. Yes. Oh boy. It was brutal. Wait. Yeah, the power went out in the power plant. That's well, right. We're in a dam that produces electrical <laughs> power and power went out. That's right. Come on, Tom. Crazy. And how windy is it today? Okay. You can take your hard hats off and take a break if you like. In Arizona, we parked our cars, passed the spillway. We drove back across, came to Nevada, came over here. Parked our cars in the parking lot, walked over, went into the visitor center down the elevator, crossed back in Arizona. Now we've come right here and we're standing right here. In order to build a dam, they drove four tunnels, called the conversion tunnels, 56 feet in diameter, 4,000 feet in length, length, three feet in concrete, all the way out, making a 50 foot diameter conversion tunnel. We're standing here, and right now we are actually inside a 50 foot diameter conversion tunnel. Once the diversion tunnels were drilled, they took the excavated earth and rock and they dumped it in the canyon on either side, creating earth dams. Typical dam building method, they're called coffer dams. Center area was pumped dry. They dug down 135 feet until they hit bedrock on June 6, 1933. First bucket of concrete was placed. They brought it down in eight cubic yard buckets. They dropped it into the dam. Here's a good picture of it over here. If you walk over here, you'll see it. That little speck right there is an eight cubic yard bucket. One eight cubic yard bucket into a form that was 30 by 30 feet at the base, five feet tall, up to 60 by 60 feet at the top, five feet tall, would create three to four inches of concrete. I'm here to dispel a myth. You cannot bury a body in three to four inches of concrete at a time. There was no one buried in Hoover Dam. 2,500 workers in it would have seen it. Jimmy Hoff is not in there. He's on the other side with the cement chute. No, he's not. I'm just kidding. Once they started forming the concrete, they came up with another major problem. We talked about a little bit downstairs. Concrete is a chemical reaction that sets up, gets hot. They built that thousand ton ammonia plant down here, ran one to two inch pipes through each form. There's a main pipe that ran up the center eight foot slot, ran one to two inch pipes horizontally, vertically through each form, cooling a form by pumping 38 and 42 degree water through it. Cooling a form is a 72 hour period, giving them the ability to pour concrete three shifts, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 363 days a year for one week shy of two years straight, almost nonstop. At peak, they're putting an eight cubic yard bucket or a cement truck into the structure every 78 seconds. That is phenomenal. If you've ever poured 12 or 15 yards with a bunch of guys on a Saturday afternoon, you're just scrambling to keep ahead of what's coming at you. These guys did it every day for two years straight, two days off the year. What were they? You know? Christmas. Christmas is an easy one. What's the other one? Thanksgiving. Independence Day, 4th Independence. of July. <laughs> Still have the 4th of July parade in Boulder City. Everybody from over the hill comes over and sees it. We have like 135 entrants. The Thunderbirds fly over in the morning, and at the end, we have a novelty at the parade at the very end that we don't do at very many places anymore. Everybody can bring their water guns. Guns, can you imagine it? And we have a water fight at the end with the firefighters and have a great time and no one gets mad. I'm there. What a deal. I wish I had known. I would have brought for 20 millennium feet. They were so large they could not ship them to us. So they sent us a steel fabrication plan being from back east. You probably know Babcox and Wilcox. That's who was out here that fabricated all the pipe. We have four main lines. 2,000 feet of main each, so there's 8,000 feet of pipe. At capacity, this pipe can carry 50,000 gallons a second through it. So at capacity, we can put 200,000 gallons of water a second through the mains. The pipes are connected by pressure pins because rivets are rigid and would tear. A pressure pin has a little bit more flexibility, they say. Pressure pin being three inch diameter steel pin and you lieu of rivets. There's 272 pins, you can see the nipples stick the pipe together. They didn't have carbide, 
and they sat there and they drilled those holes through two two and three quarter inch boilerplate steel pipes all the way around and then pressed them in. They would heat the hole until it expanded then they pushed the pin through and as the cold pin went in it, it sucked down on it and that's how they sealed it. That's a lot of work. How much did it cost to build? It cost $165 million. Big stocks were installed, they went in through these four holes. There, 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 and up there. There's definitely a gnat infestation down here. of those circle holes from the outside of the building that we saw earlier. So we're going back to the other side of the hole. See on the roof deck, the cables that come up, those each have, if you look, they've got counterweights on the back of them that pull the wires taut as it gets hot and cold. You can see the pulleys in the middle.
right there. That's called the Lower Portal Road. It comes out and it comes in through there. It goes right through the Canyon Mall. If it's a, if it's like a boom truck, the boom truck can't be lowered via that. But you see, in front of that boom truck, the white one there, there's a wood platform with a, like a piece of uh, an angled silver sort of A-frame coming up. You oh, see yeah, it right there? there. That's a rail car elevator. We roll those onto that. This bridge crane here, or cable crane, I should say, comes down, lowers down, grabs that, and picks it up, takes it up, and puts it out on the top. Of the oh, deck. wow. Yeah. That's interesting. You couldn't walk on it three days, you wouldn't change anything. It's like your belly. So how many times did you get lost? Once in a while I'd get to a point where I'd go, where the hell am I? And I'd have to sort of think about it and then I'd go, oh, there I am. Yeah, okay. I'd, I'd, I'd open a door and go, oh, I know where I'm at. Deep inside the Hoover Dam. <laughs> Zapped around here. I'm I'm in two states at once. Two states at once, Arizona, Nevada. Gotta go. We're here at the Hoover Dam. Looking at the low levels of water. Believe it or not, it's actually up 18 feet. You 18 said 18 feet. feet. He said, yeah. He said it's up 18 feet. 
but still when I moved here in 1998 originally there was no white wall none at all the guards they got on the dam armed and dangerous <laughs> We're gonna go take a look over here. In just a few minutes, we're gonna take you down there. Sorry about the wind. There's the Nevada side. In just a few moments, we're gonna be in Arizona. We're gonna be in Arizona in just a few minutes here. But it's windy, so I'll bring you back. look how dry this is this is ridiculous California stop stealing our water man foot tour is better folks get out and check things out for yourself 